Hello everyone. I'm sitting on my front porch and my neighbors Brantley and Kylie came to visit. We're all sitting six feet apart. Gracie and Missy are not doing their part there. So Brantley is going to uh, videotape me reading the story for today. Do you press the button? Good. Get what you're doing. It's fine. So this is from Read, Wonder, Listen. Stories from the Bible for young readers. These Bible stories are retold with the words of Laura O'Leary and the pictures of Anne Shang and Woodlake is the publisher. This story is called Peter Says Yes. And this happens right um, well, it happens during the time after Jesus had died and been buried in the tomb and then rose from the dead. So he's on the earth and he is meeting the disciples in unusual ways. Let's see what happened this time. I have a picture. Someone there on the side, on the shore, and fire and a boat. All right. Something was wrong with Peter. The others could sense it. He was restless, unsettled. When he was indoors, he paced around like an animal in a cage. He did not know what to do with himself. Without Jesus to show him the way, he felt lost. What now, he wondered aloud. What are we supposed to be doing? Just waiting? For what and how long? Finally, Peter stormed out of the house. I can't take it anymore, he cried. I'm going fishing. James and John and a few others went with him. Peter found some comfort in the familiar work, the roughness of the nets in his hands, the smell of the sea, the creak of the hull as the boat bobbed on the dark waters. Yet Peter was still unhappy. Going back to his old life felt flat and dull, but he could not see the way ahead. He felt stuck in one place. Nothing was right. Even the fish were not cooperating. After hours of work, they had caught nothing. As Peter and his companions sailed back toward the shore, in the dim light, they thought they saw someone standing on the beach. Have you caught anything? The stranger called out. No? Try again! This time, their nets teemed with fish, so many that the men could hardly haul them aboard. Who was this person on the beach? <gasps> Jesus, cried Peter, as he sprang into the sea, splashing his way to shore while the others followed in the boat. Sure enough, Jesus was waiting for them with a crackling fire, sizzling fish, and fresh bread. After the meal, Jesus asked Peter to go for a walk. It was the first time they had been alone together since that terrible night when Peter denied knowing Jesus. As they strolled silently along the sand, Peter could think of nothing else. Peter said, Jesus, very soon we will not be able to walk and talk together like this. I am going away. Someone will need to take my place as shepherd. Someone will need to walk ahead of my sheep and show them the way. It must be someone who loves me, someone I love and trust. Peter held his breath. Did, did Jesus have someone in mind? Peter asked Jesus, do you love me? Oh yes, cried Peter, you know I do. But as he spoke the words, he wondered whether Jesus did know. Did Jesus still trust him? Could Jesus ever forgive him? Peter, Jesus asked a second time, do you love me? Yes, declared Peter. Then Jesus asked a third time, Peter, do you love me? Peter frowned. How many times did Jesus need to ask? Then he remembered. How many times had he sworn that Jesus meant nothing to him? That night in the courtyard, how many times had he say, said no to Jesus? This was his moment to say yes. Yes, cried Peter. At that moment, the sun peeked over the horizon. The sky and sea flamed with rosy light. A new day had dawned, and with it, a chance to start again. 
Here's that picture again. Some of you in Sunday school and Rhythms of Grace might remember us having this acting out this story one time. We put out a big, um, we had a, a like a float, you know, or an air mattress, and we had a tarp that was blue and put it on there, and we had toy fish, and we pretended to be the disciples. It was a lot of fun. And then afterwards, we had a fire, and we cooked some fish and bread. So maybe you can act out the story with some of your family and have, have a nice little dinner afterwards and remember how much Jesus loves you. Thanks. Bye.